Hi, everybody. I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. And we are back with another episode of Paro DJ's Port Guides. Your favorite. That's right. Now, today, we put uh, in our Facebook group up to a vote. What port would you like to see covered next? Oh. And unanimously, almost. Not really. Pretty much. Uh, it was a landslide, we shall say. But you chose one of our favorite destinations. Yay. What is it? Bonaire. Bonaire. Yeah, so Bonaire is a, a little, well, it's part of the ABC Islands. It is a small island just off the coast of South America. Uh, part of what? Aruba? Bonaire and Curacao. 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 And yeah, it's just about as far as uh, south as you can go in the Caribbean mm -hmm. without, you know, running into South America. Correct. Uh, but I guess let's start with our first section, which is navigating the port. Now, in Bonaire, you typically dock in or just outside of the uh, capital city, mm -hmm. which is Kralendik, I believe is the official pronunciation. Something like Sounds that. Sounds right. <laughs> and there are two piers in town. There's the South Pier, and then there's the North Pier, which is also called the Town Pier. Mm -hmm. They're right next to each other, so no worries about getting you lost. Can't miss them. <laughs> but we, we've typically docked at the South Pier. But yeah. So normally what you do is you get off the ship, you walk down the pier, boom, you go out through the security gate, you're in town. Yep. So well, there is some shopping like right in there. Yeah, too. just outside. Yeah. So really, if you're looking at navigating the port itself, Super not talking about simple. town, there's really nothing going on. Yeah. So, <laughs> but we'll get into town and shopping and all of that stuff when it comes to exploring on your own. So mm -hmm. really easy to navigate, yeah. but just boom, you're right there in downtown Kralendik. Yep. So up next we have ship excursions, which uh, I've gone online and picked hand selected six carnival excursions because we have sailed carnival the most, just to give you an idea of the things that you can do in and around Bonaire. Mm -hmm. Up first, we have the Beach Express Ferry, which is actually a water taxi to Klein Bonaire that you can book through the ship. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about water taxis yeah. and Klein Bonaire later, because we have a different company, a less expensive company that we usually we use. Them. <laughs> but if you like ship excursions, you can get yourself over to Klein Bonaire, which is beautiful snorkeling. Oh my goodness. Um, but we'll, we'll, talk, we'll, talk, about we'll, talk, about we'll talk about that later. The second one I picked is the Trolley Train City Tour, which is about an hour and a half ride around town. You know how much I love trains. Yeah, that'd be cute. I'm always up for a train ride. <laughs> We've done similar things in Grenada. I've seen them in Key West, mm -hmm. all over the place. But just takes you around Kralendik and shows you what you can do. Yeah. Number three is the Plaza Resort Beach Escape. So if you're into a beach day, a resort day, it's not like an all-inclusive, but just kind of a chill beach day. Mm -hmm. uh, Bonaire is not known for sandy beaches. No. Not a lot of them. And this actually, I think, is kind of a rocky beach. It's more of a snorkeling opportunity, the I snorkeling's think. Snorkeling's good, though. Yeah. Uh, I also chose the semi sub underwater explorer because that always do sounds that. like fun. I know. This is not a full on submarine. You don't actually uh, go under. It's more of the glass bottom boat gotcha. style, which is why they say semi. Yeah. But this actually does take you over to Klein Bonaire uh -huh. and lets you sort of do the glass bottom submarine type experience over there. Nah. Well, you know, snorkeling without getting in the <laughs> I just water. Do that myself. Yeah. You do you love to get in the water <laughs> yeah. right up next to them fish. <laughs> We also have Best of Bonaire, which is an overall island tour, and we have done something similar to this. Uh, you see the slave huts and the salt flats and the flamingos and all of that it's stuff beautiful. done through the ship. And again, we'll talk a little bit about that later, because when we get to independent vendors, we're going to just bust right into the we things that own. we've done in Bonaire. Mm -hmm. Just wait for it. Lastly, I chose the Mangrove Eco Safari. Now, this is an open-air safari truck that actually cool. takes you over to, uh, it's the Flamingo area, the yeah. sanctuary, and you get to, actually, it's a combination safari truck, and there's a little boat ride portion of it, too. Oh, nice. But it sounds fun. Yeah. And that was actually cool. the most interesting thing that I found through the ship. Hmm. But again, we haven't done any ship excursions in no. Bonaire. We usually do things on our own. Save money. we'll talk about here <laughs> in a second. Yeah. Actually, that's what we're going to talk about right now. So let's jump into exploring on your own. So now when you very first get off the ships, there is a lot of shopping. I know mm -hmm. we usually dock at the South uh, Pier right. and there's a nice little shopping village. We really didn't nice. explore it that much. We peeked in some of the shops, but we weren't in the mood to like go in, but it looks really nice and well-maintained, lots of options. And a lot of people were just shopping all day. That's like what they decided to yeah, do. Yeah, I don't so. think Bonaire is known as like a super cool shopping port, but they did mm -hmm. have a lot of shopping. Yeah. If you're at the North Pier, when you actually get off there, you kind of come out into a marketplace. That's what we explored yeah. more was yeah, like the was craft cool. market. Like handmade, like local. Oh, it was so nice. Yeah. Really, really pretty stuff. Um, and, and in well, I should say, eh, we'll get to a little bit more when we talk about <laughs> independent vendors. But if you carry on past the South Shopping Village and the North Shopping Village, there's a couple of streets. Actually, Calle Grande is mm -hmm. the main thoroughfare where you can find all the restaurants and the bars and the hot spots. Lots there's, of there's stuff. There's lots of shops. We didn't check it out nearly as thoroughly as we could because we get to 
distracted by snorkeling a lot. But a lot Spend of. Spend all our time snorkeling. A, a decent amount of shopping. Yeah. De- decent. And the pizza's right good. there. Oh, yeah, that pizza. We had place. pizza in like a little interior mall kind of thing. Oh, my gosh, it was delicious. And it was like $5 for the biggest slice of pizza I've ever seen. It was big. <laughs> So right there at the port, there aren't really any accessible beaches or pools. Well, I should say, there actually is a set of stairs. Remember that set of stairs as you walk between the two ships? And apparently that is a snorkeling area. I looked it up. steps and ramps like the whole way. And I didn't know you could swim that close to the ship other than Grand Turk. I looked it up on Google Maps and it said that it's a snorkeling area. Now, we did not try it, but it's just a set of stairs down into the water. And you're right there by the ships, kind of like in Grand Turk, yeah. you know, when you're that close to the I ships. I didn't see anyone doing it. But no, me neither. I mean, it, it's, it's an, an option. option. <laughs> if you want a free thing to do in Bonaire and you just want to jump right in there, and you apparently can see the fish. they're not going to yeah. tell you to get out because, I mean, there's stairs, right? Yeah. So We looked above and you could see fish swimming yeah. down there. So there's definitely snorkeling opportunities Maybe right people there. people do that sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, to get over to those areas anywhere, you have to pass a uh, vendor tents. And mm-hmm. this is good because another way, as we always say, to explore on your own without Fully being on your own is through independent tour vendors. For sure. Yeah. So, and you will be as you walk, get off either ship and walk toward the main hub. You will walk by long rows of tents, and there are probably at least twenty tour vendors. I would say selling, you know, water taxi rides and island tours and all sorts of things. It is the lowest pressure it vendor is. tent walk by I have ever experienced. They're just like, hey, this is what we have. Would you like to go and just move on? Like, there's nobody hollering at you. Come here, please. Don't I, I don't know. It's very holler at me it's a nice change actually yeah yeah real low pressure yeah but i guess let's go through some of the folks that we have done things Mm -hmm. with so normally when we go to a brand new destination for the first time we like to do an island tour correct and that's actually the first thing that we did when we hit bonaire (laughs) we went through bonaire vista tours Mm -hmm. and had a pretty amazing Amazing tour of the island it really only occupied i think three or four hours Mm -hmm. of our day but we saw the south side which is the salt flats and the slave huts yep uh, the north side had the, what was it? It was the distillery, right? Where we got to yeah, taste some of the was, local uh, it liquor. It won awards for the best, was it rum? Oh, that was rum. for their rum, yeah. yeah. But they had a local um, spirit that they make there, it was which like Kadushi. Green? I, I don't know. We don't remember all the words. We just <laughs> it know was it was taste, good. It kind of tasted like medicine, but apparently it's really good. And I think Laura ended up buying some and Ricky. Probably. Yeah, they did. Um, and then we went through the Flamingo area and all of that stuff. But Thousand Stairs. Oh, stairs. I forgot about the Thousand, thousand Steps. Stairs? Thousand Steps. Which it's not really a thousand no, steps. No, it's not. Just that's the name. But we saw turtles on the rocks. And turtles. that would be an amazing place to snorkel. Yeah, that's a, a hot spot for snorkeling. Mm-hmm. If we go back, we may have to do some further investigation yeah. of you know some of these spots. But overall, island tours are fantastic. And Bonner Vista tours did a great job. We they took us up Billy. to the yeah, Billy. We love Billy. They took us up to the top of like an overlook with a monument, and you can look down yeah. and see the town and everything. But super cool, super professional. Very she was entertaining good. all day long. Yep. Uh, but yeah, overall island tour. It was so good. Yeah. Now, the other thing that we like to do in Bonaire is to go to Klein (laughs) Bonaire, which means Little Bonaire. Mm -hmm. Uh, It is one of the few areas that has nice, long, sandy beaches. They have a proper reef, and it's known for snorkeling. Please tell me words about Klein Bonaire. Well, first... I'll say the company that we use to get back and forth is Carib Water Sports. Yes. 20 bucks, round trip, can't beat it. Yeah, so you can only get there by a water taxi, Mm -hmm. uh, just because that's the only method to get there. It is an uninhabited beach, so Mm -hmm. there's not really any facilities. You just kind of park your stuff on the sand, or they do have like a little sheltered hut. Mm -hmm. Put your stuff under there. We've never had any issues with anything, um, you know, being taken. Um, And you can snorkel. You can snorkel right there at the beach, or you can go and do a drift snorkel where you walk about a foot fall, football length uh, down the beach till you see a yellow pole and that's where you enter the water because there's a break in the reef mm-hmm. and you jump in there and you just kind of swim out to yeah, sea but not too far the current you. takes you it's called drift snorkeling because the current will push you back to the beach and you just look to your left and <laughs> to think about that and that's the reef right there and you can see all sorts of things i did that once and it was good i did feel like i had to swim a little bit more than drift i think Maybe i went too far out yeah um but it was still really good and i did eventually end up back at the beach but this last time we went i just hung around the beach area Mm -hmm. and there are so many reefs right there like you can actually see them poking up out of the water in some areas it's very shallow it's the best snorkeling i've ever seen now i didn't see anything miraculous like turtles sharks you know we don't want to see those but um stingrays anything like that but just the amount of fish and the variety was unreal I will always go snorkeling when I go to Bon Air. So if you guys don't want to watch, <laughs> sorry, but that's what I'm going to do. And the water is so pretty. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Yeah, but that's that's been our favorite things so far. We did the island tour and we've done yeah. uh, Carib Water Sports back and forth to Klein Bonnet. And the time goes so fast. It does. <laughs> it's I know. so nice though. But they've always had good service. They sell drinks yes. right on their boat there and super professional. And, and the awesome. timing to pick you up is always right yeah. on time. And they give you lots of instructions about mm -hmm. where you can snorkel, how to do the drift, and just full of yeah. information. Uh, I know one of the other things, if we did not mention, people would be very mad at us. Oh. There's another thing that if you talk about Bonaire, you have to talk about. Do you know what it is? It's golf carts. Oh, you yeah. cannot uh, talk about Bonaire without true. talking about that renting thing to do. a golf cart. Now, we have not done that, but yeah. that is one of the most popular, I would say. Just going exploring on your own. Right. Yeah. To just drive around the island and you get a nice little golf cart. Mm -hmm. And I believe Bonaire Cruisers is one of the leading companies at renting golf carts. Now, we have not used them, but we yeah. have heard great things. I think they even give you a map of two different ways mm, you I'm can sure. go and you, you just go explore on your own. You can go snorkel at various locations. Yeah. It seems really cool. I would do that, too. Yeah. Now, when we were there, too, there was another company that had those remember those weird cars those are so cool i don't know what they are if i find the company i'll have to put a link down below but mm -hmm. and uh, if i have any footage of it i'll put it in here i feel like i did pan by one of those little cars but they were like one person or two person little low cars and they were fully around. enclosed which was nice because we were in the rain mm. like like we were in a van and they were in that and then the guy leading it was on a motorcycle yeah, i felt so bad but like drenched. the golf carts obviously are open so if it's going to be a stormy day maybe go that route yeah true did you hear i said drived i don't know the past tense of drive <laughs> drove. Dro drove driven driven did, did, did. driven anyway so let's jump right to our last section. Now, for me, this is going to be the most heart-wrenching and controversial <laughs> section. Free and frugal fun. Mm. So we like to give an island a rating on a scale of 1 to 10 with how much fun can you have for free or virtually free in the port area. Mm -hmm. So Bonaire, obviously, you come right through the security gate, boom, you're done. You've got shopping village, you've got craft market, you have that little snorkel steps area. Lots of restaurants. Restaurants, but that's not free. right. Yeah. Um, but there's not like a pool, there's nothing really free going on. So now, I do have to say, between Bonaire and Curacao, Bonaire has become, I believe, our number one yeah. destination. Between so, the two. I'm still torn, but. Yeah, this is a heart wrenching <laughs> number for me to give, but on a free and frugal alone rate, I'm going to have to give Bonaire similar to what I gave Curacao and other places that don't have a lot going on at the port other than a little shopping, and I will give it a three. It pains me to give potentially Can our favorite port in the fifth? world. <laughs> Not rate it? A three. I love it so much. You have now, but you have to be objective on the free and frugal. because well, The fact that you can go and snorkel for free right there, that's pretty cool. Off the steps if yeah, you want to. Yeah, but it's still snorkeling. It, it's something that's really close to the ship. And that's and why I didn't give it a two or two and a half. Hmm. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Okay, so on a free and frugal rating, so you're being kind it because hurts my heart. we love Bonaire so much, yes. and I feel like that influenced your decision, but that's okay. So a three <laughs> and a four and a half, I have to do some fancy math. That gives it a 3.75, I believe is how that math works out. <laughs> Fair enough. So Bonaire, one of our number one destinations, but For in sure. the free and frugal rating, oof. But you, the, you know, that being said, there are a lot of inexpensive things to mm -hmm. do. I mean, $20 to hop on a water taxi to one of the most beautiful snorkeling beaches with white with the sand and everything you can't beat something no, like that not at all so but anyway there we go free and frugal uh, fun i don't know what i was gonna say <laughs> but i guess that is the end of our port guide for bonaire now we went on a little longer than some of our other port guides but that's because we have so much we love, love so much. to give bonaire <laughs> so if you get a chance to go to bonaire or any of the abc islands definitely do it southern caribbean is our favorite plan to do something though yes. don't stay on the ship you will not no, you will regret something. it if you do that's right <laughs> But I guess that's it for this video. So hopefully you did enjoy this port guide. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on, on and go and to, to Bonaire. Bon yeah. <laughs> did you know you are going to say that? <gasps> no. Me either. <laughs>